Get ready, you're about to completely change the way you think about yourself. What's up socials, welcome back to Amy TV. You may have seen a video I made a couple of months ago called how to wake up at 5 a.m. even if you don't feel like it. Well in that video I mentioned one tip that included reading the book the five second rule, which was written by Mel Robbins. And I'm so excited. So many of you have written me in the comments and in the DMs. Thank you for recommending this book. It's changing my life. And I am so pumped about that. I love that this very simple thing that is so amazing can help you get more done. And I knew that I had to find a way to get Mel to talk to you directly here on Amy TV, because if we made such a connection with her book, we have to be able to continue the conversation. So last week I spoke in Nashville at an event called Marketing United put on by Emma, and I found out when I was trolling their website that Mel Robbins would also be speaking. So I knew that this was going to be my big opportunity. Turns out she was speaking on the same stage as me just a couple sessions later, which is so freaking cool. So after I spoke and before she went out and did her keynote, we talked for a couple of minutes about the effect of the five second rule being that really amazing first step, but what to do when you go beyond that. What is the next thing that you need to do? How do you combat the self-doubt that seems to creep back in? I'm so excited that I get to share that chat with you today. Before we dive in, if you haven't already, please make sure you subscribe to this channel. I make new videos every Wednesday and Sunday, and I try to get really cool people on if I can, but it doesn't always happen. Usually it's just me. We're sitting here in this office having a chat, and uh, if you're into that sort of thing, then I do it a lot, so stay tuned. So can we just start with self-doubt is the biggest jerk ever? Like, just... You're a jerk, self-doubt. What's wrong with you? We try so hard to take action, look past what other people are thinking about us, and yet we still find a way to criticize in our own little bodies and minds that we can't achieve the things that we truly, truly want. What I love about the five second rule, and it's a must, 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 must read. Oh my God, how do I not have it in my hand right now? This is an absolute must read because you can literally go from zero to action in five seconds. And I know it sounds ridiculously simple, but it is so true. And when you start to understand yourself and the science behind it, you will get so excited about what you can do. But once you've done that, staying in control is key and keeping the five second rule in your arsenal is super important, but we also have to keep that self doubt from taking over. And that is why I'm so excited to have Mel Robbins on Amy TV today to talk about this with us. I do wanna take this time to give you a warning. Not very often do we drop four letter words around here, but I am not in the business of censorship. I only like to talk to people who are an unapologetic, authentic version of themselves and Mel is the epitome of that. Just be aware that there is some strong language in this chat and that if you have any little ones in the room or you're listening to this in public, be respectful and pop in some earbuds. Mel Robbins is an expert on leadership and defeating doubt. She is an award-winning CNN commentator, best-selling author, and one of the most sought after motivational speakers in the world. Hashtag goals. The five second rule came from one of the most successful TEDx talks in the world and is now an international best selling book, including a number one release on Amazon and Audible. I highly recommend the Audible version. Oh my God. Now let's pop over to the Country Music Hall of Fame in the green room where I sat down with Mel Robbins to talk about how to eliminate self doubt forever. Mel, I did a video a couple of weeks ago mm -hmm. about how to wake up at 5 a.m. Mm -hmm. And can you tell me? <laughs> <laughs> no, what? You just told me. What are you talking about? <laughs> I, I had just finished reading the five second rule and everyone was asking me how I wake up early in the morning or why I wake up early in the morning. So I was giving a lot of feedback on that. What's so cool about the five second rule and what I have found in just life in general is that there's something so amazing in terms of relief that you can take one small step or do something practical, learn something practical and make so much happen. Yep. The five second rule is like that first step. It's a tool. Like right. here, here's the thing, I think everybody, so this is, this is what you need to know. Every one of us pretty much knows the little stuff we need to do, mm -hmm. but we don't know how to make ourselves do it. Right. When you don't feel like it, when you doubt yourself, when you're terrified, when you're afraid of what your friends think, 
when you're worried about what your parents are going to do if you do this thing. Right. You know what to do. You don't know how to make yourself push through the excuses. And there's literally always going to be an excuse. Always. Always. And so the trick to beating any excuse is using the five second rule, which is you start counting backwards, five, four, three, two, one. The moment you feel the doubt, the moment you feel the fear, the moment you feel like, I don't want to get out of fucking bed, five, four, three, two, one. <laughs> yeah. And you actually switch gears in your brain. And by the time you hit one, your prefrontal cortex is activated. And that's the part of the brain that you need awake and, and paying attention in order to change, in order to speak with courage, in order to take a risk, in order to learn anything new. So that's why it works for um, getting out of bed. And most people learn it, and then they start using it to push themselves to do things that are really annoying. Right. Like exercising, getting up on time, not drinking that much, uh, eating healthy, speaking up at work, asking for a raise, starting that business. But then you go into the cooler things to use it for, yeah. which is your mindset and whether or not you listen to the bullshit that you have been listening to in your own head. Well, and that's what I want to ask you about it because there's waking up at 5 a.m. and yep. there's a lot of people watching my channel that have said, oh, this has changed everything, I wake up early, but then they wake up and they're like very excited they're out of bed. And it's, it's a good moment to have that, you have that one small win. But that's when the self-doubt and sort of the, the, the issues of taking the, the second step and the third step start to sink in again. Yes. And I just am curious to hear like how have you observed these like small steps that people can take and what are those next things? You wake up in the morning and then you start telling yourself, great, I'm up, but I don't know if I'm worthy to go after the life that I want. I don't know if I wanna do this thing or pursue this goal because I don't know if I can. Okay, so here's the thing I want you to understand. You don't have self-doubt. Okay. You have a habit of doubting yourself. I love that. And the reason why it's important to label any fucking thinking pattern that you have as a habit is because it is just a pattern. Now, you may have learned this pattern from your mother, from your father, from some dipshit teacher that, <laughs> that trashed you. You may be a, a victim of, of sexual abuse like mm -hmm. I was right. when I was little. You may uh, have had terrible things happen to you. You may have had some dirtbag tell you that you were unworthy and you started to believe it. But I'm here to tell everybody that any thinking pattern that you have is simply a habit. And habits are stored right here. And what is great news about the fact that self-doubt is just a habit right. is that you can use science to break the habit. And so what's super cool is, yeah, start using the five second rule to push your ass out of bed and to put down the croissant and to walk away from the Manhattan, you know, because you've already had one tonight really? or whatever it may be. Okay. <laughs> or, or not pick up the smokes when you right. and your girlfriends are out uh, drinking and you're one of those party smokers, but you don't want to do it because you hate how your tongue feels in the morning or whatever it may be. But then what I want you to do is I want you to actually police your thoughts because your thoughts drift. Mm -hmm. Nobody intentionally wakes up and says, today, I'm gonna think only shitty things about myself. Mm, yeah. Those thoughts yeah. drift when you're not paying attention. And so you can go five, four, three, two, one, awaken your prefrontal cortex, interrupt the habit of doubting yourself or saying you're unworthy, and boom, once you hit one, you've actually already taken action that is completely different than stopping to think. You've taken action by counting. I love how you just put that. I've never put it that way. You are only saying these things to yourself, this negative self-talk, these negative thoughts, because you're not paying attention. Yeah, and somebody taught you to do this. Yeah. You know, as I, I learned to suck my thumb when I was little. Right. Very soothing. <laughs> Actually, it wasn't even my thumb, it was these two fingers. I'm not flipping you off. But, I mean, these two puppies, since I was 11, weird. Um, <laughs> it was a habit. Weird. that I learned. Mm -hmm. Probably learned it by either watching other kids or so, whatever, yeah, for whatever just, reason. Every Who you surround yourself with, what's happening around you, you observe it, you follow, we're, we're all little monkeys. I wish that when I was your age, I knew that I wasn't stuck with the things that I thought. Mm. I only learned this four years ago. And when you understand that you can control what you think about, you can't control what's happening. You can't control what other people are doing. You can't control, like, really anything that's going on around you. Mm -hmm. But you can always choose what you think about next. Always. And so you are not a victim. You may have been victimized, but you are not a victim. Because you can always catch yourself saying bullshit 
and go five, four, three, two, one, and take control of what you're actually going to think next. And when you understand that in your bones, you will know the secret to actually speaking your truth. You will know the secret to finding the courage to live your life in a way that expresses your highest self and your highest purpose. You will find the courage to say no to people. And so I think it starts with push yourself out of bed and get control of some of your actions. And then what you will start to learn is how to actually use this simple 54321 form of metacognition to train your own mind to think totally differently. Miles, you still sometimes have to count down from five to get out of bed. Every single morning. I'll tell you why. I hate getting out of bed. Me too. I fucking hate it. And so I've been using this every morning for nine years. Mm -hmm. And I want you to understand, just because you hate it doesn't mean you can't do it. And there may be things that you will have to do for the rest of your life. I include putting away dishes. I hate that. I don't mind loading the dishwasher. Yeah. I hate putting away I'm clean dishes. You. I don't mind doing the laundry. I hate folding laundry and yeah. putting it away. I hate getting out of bed. I hate stopping after one Manhattan. Um, I hate exercising. These are things I've done for, you know, almost right. nine years. I still hate it. You don't so have you to be an hate exercise person. Yes. Right. You don't have to be a folding laundry person. You definitely don't have to be a morning person. You just and you can still have get, to up. get up. Exactly. I love that. Thank you, Mel. My pleasure. Thank you so much, Mel and Mel Robbins' team. Oh my gosh, they were amazing in making this happen for us here at Amy TV. Make sure you check out The Five Second Rule. It is only the most popular book ever, ever, ever right now. I mean, like, that's kind of a biased opinion, but it's also kind of true. But now I want to turn it over to you. Let's start to break this down. How is self-doubt holding you back? What are you not doing that you could be, but you've told yourself and you've made a habit of telling yourself that you can't or you shouldn't? or others wouldn't like it, or it's not the easy thing. Share that in the comments below. Let's help each other. If you enjoyed this, please make sure you give the video a thumbs up. Let's let Mel know we appreciate her. And if you like this sort of thing, motivational productivity, make sure you subscribe to this channel. Again, I make videos every Wednesday and Sunday. I'd love for you to come back. That's all for today's socials. Thank you so much for tuning in. I appreciate it as always. Make sure you subscribe for good vibes and remember to continue to go after the life that you want. Cheers.